This was today's lesson on special products. We did some of these yesterday, and now we're going to talk about a shortcut that you can use. When you have your binomial and it's in a form like x plus 3 quantity squared, it's called a perfect square trinomial. So this here can be written out x plus 3 times x plus 3. We did this yesterday. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. 3x and then 9. x squared plus 6x plus 9. So that's your safety net. It always works. But if you can, look at this and look back here. Do you see any patterns? Do you notice anything? You might have noticed that you have to square the first term, and then you square the last term, and this middle term here is the last term doubled. So let's try another one. If you square the first term, square the last term, and then double the 4, you'd get 8x. And we can prove it. x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16. You can always do it out. You don't have to look at the shortcuts if you're still not comfortable with those. Let's try another. Let's take a look at two more examples. x plus 5 quantity squared. You can always write it out, but let's see if we remember the shortcut. Square the first term. Square the second term. And then go ahead and double the 5 to get 10x. x minus 3 quantity squared. What do you think is going to happen here? x squared plus 9 and doubled to give you 6x. But is it a plus 6x or a minus 6x? Minus 6x. Now this one last one, the quantity of 2x plus 3 squared. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 3 times 3 is 9. But what is that middle term going to be? Is it just 3 doubled? Or is it something else? We actually are going to be multiplying 3 times 2 is 6 and then doubling that to get 12. The reason that it wasn't so obvious in the other examples is because there's a 1 in front of here. This last special products we have is called the difference between two perfect squares, which means our final answer will have a difference, which is a minus sign, and it will have two perfect squares. So if we actually work this one out, we would have x times x is x squared x times 5 is 5x, negative 5 times x is negative 5x, negative 5 times 5 is 25. But look what happens here. Those cancel out, so we end up with x squared minus 25. There's our difference between two perfect squares. So those middle terms will cancel because of the opposite signs. So this one here is simply x squared minus 36. x minus 3x plus 3. x squared minus 9. 2x plus 1. 2x minus 1 would be 4x squared minus 1. So your homework tonight will be done on page 32. It's out of the book, page 505, numbers 2, 4, 5, 9, 11, and 16.
Use the shortcut if you can, or work it out the long way.